Hello everybody, this is Eric here at Front Seat Gaming. You can sit on the back and enjoy the ride. We are here with some Minecraft. This is modded Minecraft, as you can see. It is Minecraft Infinity Evolved. This is my place. We are here on the server. I play with my friends. And I kind of want to show you around the place. It looks really cool, doesn't it? Blue sky and clouds and there's trees all over the place. Rabbits, birds, you know, all that stuff. They're chirping and singing. So let's let's go around, see what we have to offer. Now that we're in, this is enemy system, you know, not much. Now on the other side, we have the reactor room. Boop. Close behind us, really cool. So this is my reactor. It turns on and off depending on how much energy it has, so it doesn't, you know, go around wasting Elorium. I would just turn it on, probably because it wasn't loaded or something, I don't know. So, you know, now that it reached, um, how much was it? 50%, it turns off, and then it will slowly go down. Then when, then it, when it reaches, oh, I fell, crap. When it reaches 10%, it turns back on, and that way it never really wastes the alarm. See? It's back on now. This is a toggle latch in case you wonder. Uh, this is it outputs the energy amount, so it has active while below ten percent, and this one is active while above fifty percent. Then this one just sets the setting from the signal so it turns on and off. And then here we have the output of cyanide and uh the alarm input input. There we go. Kinda have some the alarm stored here. Uh this is the other side, there's nothing really here, so... Yeah, this is my reactor. I will show you how I make Hilarium afterwards. So we have Mistcraft here, and uh... Yeah, it's kinda cheaty, but it sucks to have to be mining and, you know, other stuff. This is where the mining laser drill thing, whatever the fuck I'm going to use for our generation, is going to be. There's not much around here, as you've seen. It kind of just started. It took me a lot of time to build the main place, the entrance, because this was actually a void world, and this is the entrance you just saw. Yeah, I know, right? It's just blue blocks. There's no sky. There's no clouds. Um, yeah, I made it all by hand. It's all micro blocks and topiary grass, so you don't have mob spawns. This is just a chunk loader and magma torch. So yeah, I know. I bet you didn't expect that. Let's go inside here. I don't have a sword. Crap. Boop. This is a world. It's not really clouds, just white blocks. I love these blocks. And I'm really proud of this actually. It looks really cool. I spent a lot of time doing this. I mean, it's really cool. I really like it. I got some Birds from the Twilight Forest. No, no, don't run away. Come on. Where'd you go? Oh, whatever. And then threw some path stones and get some squirrels as well. They're really cute. Oh, they all run away from me. God damn it. Some bunnies, you know. And this, this is what, this is what I got. Where is the hole? Where is it? Maybe I should go from the outside. I'll do it later, I don't know. Boop! This is the entrance, as you've seen before. Blah, blah. And now, I've got a secret door here for the AMI system setup. I got four crafting CPUs. Oop. They have 64K crafting storage. Then I got a fuck ton of controllers, just because I can. And then three AMI drives full of 64K cells. There's one behind here as well. And then, pretty much the only one being used right now is the first one. I don't have a lot of stuff. It's just a couple of cells, so they some buffer energy and random barrels I still haven't dealt with. Now this is how I deal with the alarm, and it's fucked up. Crap! Great. Right. So we're going to fix that in a second. Right. Um. We actually have a... I'll, I'll show you in a second. This is the resident for the door. 
above, the one that opens and closes as you pass by. And then let me fix this hole. Oh, found it. Right, so as you can, you know, probably imagine, we I mean I haven't started here, this is not the first this is not the overworld, this is just a miscraft world I created. And so this is the overworld, but it's so it's a mess, right? Because we had like four or five people playing and doing all kinds of stuff is kind of laggy and mob farms and all that. So yeah, this is the first place to set up. We have beds here with each of us, and then this is one of our friends who didn't come play with us, so we just put him here, trapped him here forever. <laughs> this is the four of us that actually played. And yeah, it's a it's a mess. Boop. Hi. Ouch. Okay. Uh, this is a mistcraft place. It's all around the mess, really. There's almost no organization. It's just machines everywhere and FPS drops and all. And we have some villagers here, which have good traits. Somebody really likes the fairy nets, the random ones. But then there are the Lumcraft. No, where's where's the RF tools one? Oh yeah, this is really good. This is for Tommy and good. Are you the RF tools? No. Um, but we had one for RF tools. Is this one? Yeah, for and on dimlets and you know all kinds of stuff. Actually, we have this makes it easier. It doesn't work really well. So you know, this is how I got all the materials to build that stuff. We got a reactor here and one of those badass volcanic evolution energy cores for storing energy and this mod really looks really cool this was not me by the way that some other friend of mine got into this I didn't really all I did was get this charm from him and then I made also a capacitor because this is 250 million RF so that's best one around and I did the same setup here as I did there yeah, and we got the same going here except you know, a lot bigger scale it Fuck ton of Hilarium stored. We had a laser drill. I mean, we have a laser drill going. This is. We started with lava power, because, you know, that's what people always do. Uh, and then it just, you know, just didn't want to. It just go out, keep them in the ME system, never really use them, so. This is where they went. They are just down here. Supplementary power. They're definitely not enough. They're probably not even helping too much. But yeah. So this is the drawer system we got with the laser drill. It's fucking full of all this weird stuff. Maybe I should put some void upgrades on those. I don't care anymore. I don't live here anymore. I moved to the void age base. But yeah, this is actually really cool. There's quite a bunch of stuff here. Whenever you need some. So now let me show you the outside. Hip, uh, jump, there we go. Yep, blueberry bushes. This is the nicest looking part of the place. The mob farm. For some reason, there's stuff floating around here. I always, I always get those. So this is all the stuff there is in the mob farm. Yep, really cool. You have a bunch of under pearls since everybody uses this charms, and you need to fuel those with ender pearls. Um, there is to be a barrel with mob essence here. I'm not sure where where it went. So let's just. I made a ender chest with ender pearls so we can feed the world anchors infinitely, pretty much. And um, this up here is the cursed earth farm. It should be spawning stuff. I am not sure what's going on. Am I in bed? Oh, I'm peaceful. Fuck. Okay, so let's go. Oh, no, no. Close it. Come on. Yeah, there we go. It's funny. This is our tree farm. I made this way back when we needed, actually needed charcoal for power and whatever. Got a bunch of wood and got a sludge boiler here because I needed clay to make the roof of the ME system room in my place there. Got a bunch of shit here. Just random stuff and toast for days. 
automatic to toast farm. Yep. Grabs the wheat, then throws it around. It actually. Whoop. I can't really see. There's a segmill here. It's kind of pulverized. It, it pulverizes into the seeds, and then and also flour. So you get some seeds and flour. I actually made this because I wanted seeds for topiary grass, and uh, then I just extended it to make toast. So you get the flour and cook in the alloy smelter, and then cook it back once more. Cook bread, and then boop, you got toast. Yep, best explanation ever. This is wheat. I just created 10 and 10 wheat for everything. This this wheat. Um, whatever. Just remove it. And so we got a agricultural here going with a little bit of mana to keep them growing. I got a little bit into Botania, but not too much. This is all I have really. It's just the terrestrial agglomeration blade. I don't really remember why I did this. Oh, maybe for terra steel for the ring. Yeah, the magnum ring. That's full. Um, and little thing so we can switch between alchemy or not. Uh, I just kind of set up bef besides this. What is the word it calls anyway? Yeah, day bloom primus and nightshade primus. Where's nightshade? Nightshade. I don't know. They are somewhere around here. Oh, there we go. There has some. So we got some passive mana, and then I just got some end of flames going. Just feed on coal, and ta-da! There we go. That's pretty much it. So one of our friends made their base up here. They started playing with Thumbcraft. There's the laser drew, by the way. Actually, let's go there first. This is our laser drew. Just a bunch of tesseracts on top of each other. And a world anchor, which is about to run out. Oh, ouch. This place looks really cool. I didn't know you could space this out so much. Because you go so far, you usually, usually just make them really close, like here or something. I don't know. It looks really cool. Come on, stop it. There we go. A whole bunch of V everywhere. And then inside, he has alchemy going. And crafting tables. He got a bunch of the staffs we got from the villagers down there and the random chests and then uh, I'm not sure what what's this for oh yeah this is for the crucible magic okay. I think this is supposed to clear the flux or something I don't know and if it is water that's really cool but this nothing Okay, so this is home, down there. Uh, this is a random portal somewhere else. And this is probably... Oh! Okay. Where Where is this? Oh, it's up there. Okay, that's cool. I didn't know this. Oh, this, these leaves look really cool. There, I, I bet there's an aura node. Somewhere. I just can't see it because it really didn't do much thumbcraft. They didn't have the goggles, so yeah. Um, yeah, this is we one of the places we got a quarry going on here, and then we moved to the enter quarry, but then I needed some dirt, so we put another quarry. <laughs> yeah, I know this is the big enter quarry we do did it just finished a lot of, a long time ago, and then um we did another one here, and it's also finished, I think. Boop, boop. Boop, there we go. Yep, it's done. So, this is it. This is the mess. Now, we kind of want the alarm, right? So, stupid bows. For some reason, they are just floating around there and never managed to figure out why. Okay, okay let's keep going. This is our Tinker's Construct area. Yay, really complex and shit. No, not really. So. The Yalorium, where I get that from, is this place.
Ta-da! Yes, it's a huge alarming ocean. Was there rain here? Oh, somebody dug up. I've never been up there. I wonder what, what it looks like. Oh man, it's weird. Oh, somebody's been... been here before. Wait, let's go down. So this is where we get Hilarium from. Let's get the glider. Where is it? Okay, here it is. Uh, yeah, we get Eulorium for days here, pretty much forever. We'll probably stop playing before this dries up, so yeah. And um, it's not filling up. It's bad. Why are you not filling up? Are you doing it? Are you doing it? You got under pearls? What's up? Oh, there we go. It's under tanks, they, they, are, they act weird sometimes. So we should be able to go back to our base. There we go. And then now we should get some Eulerium going. Eulerium. That's kind of hard to say. Oop, there we go. No, oh, this is not where I want to be. Dang it. Okay. In case you didn't see, there are pressure plates here. They are invisible, yep. And then when you press them once, it goes down, and then you press them again, it goes back up. So that's how it works. It's also how the front door works, kind of. It's the same pressure plates, but it's, there is no redstone, no complex redstone going on. So this is how I get the lorem. Ta-da! Yep. Really cheating, I know. <laughs> I don't really mind. I, I'm just here for automation and building. I, I'm not a big builder, a huge fan of building. But uh, sometimes I find it fun, you know. Just do some simple stuff like this. I'm not really good at doing exterior, exterior design, so that's why I actually chose a void world, so it doesn't fucking matter what I do outside. Uh, the idea is that it, that it will only be inside and uh, and this room here I my plan was putting four laser drills and but then I realized my reactor wouldn't be enough for that and so that's not what I'm doing anymore probably try something different for mining automation. I've been looking at Botania and uh, there's this plant which turns stone into R. It's the R kit. R kit. This. So yeah, maybe maybe this one. I don't know. This one probably. I th this is the nether R's I think. Yeah. Probably the, the regular regular one should be fine. I don't know. Maybe one of each. We'll see. And then I could m easily make a stone farm and just build a block placer so it could change it into ores. And then just silk touch it and grab it and pulverize. I don't know something like that. Probably. Probably silk touch it, yeah, sure. Um, and so for that I would need, you know, a decent source of mana. And I've got this, I got my friend that was working on Thumbcraft to do, to make some air imbued fire for me. Because this turn, turns everything into desert, you know, stone and sandstone and all that. But as a joke, it turns water into cakes. Because, you know, desert, dessert, got it, huh? And there's a Putania flower, which I am f not going to remember the name, which is really weird. Cake something, maybe? Uh, no? No, no, no. Something mirrors. Mirror. Mirrors. Is it? There we go. 
cake mirrors. There we go. With you. So this is what it's called. It eats cake and produces mana, and it's quite a bit of mana actually. So this could possibly be my mana source. Just put some water in the room, a small box, and then have one of those flowers going at it. And then when the cake when the cake breaks, the water around will make another source block, and then the fire will spread to it. You know, you get the the idea. So this is my plan. Anyways, now uh, this is pretty much what we have around. I kind of wanted to build some something around this room, or maybe get the mana farm going. But um, the server is wonky right now, and I can't really play it really well there. So I'll just get away some other day. I don't know. This is why I've been a single player here. What what else can I show? Let's see. Yeah, there's the end. It's not too much to show there. It's just regular end. We didn't build anything. It's just, you know, good at the end. We already killed the dragon, but since there's... What is it called? Draconic Evolution? You can respawn the other dragon and fight it again. What's this? No? Oh. Yo, what's up? Yo. I'm gonna kill you. There we go. Wow, okay. That was really rude. Oh, I think I looked at some... Some Enderman. You wanna fight? Fight me. Wow. <laughs> okay, we're fine. Uh, oh, we're not anymore. Come on. You fucking pussy. Come at me. Yeah, coward. Oh wow, nice one stop. Did it screw up again? Oh, okay, so. Uh, I don't know what to show. Uh, my tools, yeah, sure, let's go. This is my pick. It is a cobalt pickaxe. It was made of cobalt head and a thomium binding and are died for the tool rod. For the speed. The mining speed is insane. It is 45. And this is actually too much. <laughs> I can't control this. I am seriously thinking on doing a slower one. <laughs> yeah. I put silk touch and then the RF modifier in it. Bunch ton of redstone. And it's really good. So let me go back home and show you this just melts through stone through stone and as you can see our walls are made of stone so whenever I try to remove something it just destroys half the house. That's not not what I want to do. Trip down here. Boop. So this is what it does. It just completely destroys. I wanna break one break one block. Nope. It just breaks two or three. Two or three, yeah. It's really, really, really fast. For stone and for ores, vanilla stuff. It doesn't seem to be as fast on cobblestone, which is kind of weird, anyways. So, yeah, this is my pickaxe. This is just random magic, I don't really care about this. Just dirt and sand are easy enough to break by hand. I really don't need this, anyways. And then my main weapon, the one I like the most, the crossbow. It is, it is, it deals 18 hearts of damage with these bolts. So the bolts are made out of manilin for the bolt itself, and then steel for the head, I think. Yeah, I think that's what it did. And it's slimely fletching, fletching. Um, the crossbow itself is made of pink slime. Fury bowstring and paper for the binding and then thomium for the body so we get two extra modifiers and the regular s the resulting speed is like a quarter of a second for drawing and the other speed is 8.45 I'm not sure how good is that but it is really fast this is it shoots really fast and it pretty much 
kills I, I think it kills every vanilla mob in one shot except Enderman because they teleport away so you know just boop dead also the arrow goes pretty much straight there's not much of a see on top of the tree oop that's it there's not much of a curve going because it's really it's really fast if I shoot it there it's probably gonna be there oh well can't find it. Yeah, whatever. You get the idea. Yeah, no shit there. It's there. Um, we'll just obliterate that with anything. Oh, there's an iron, iron golem here. What the fuck? Yo, die. There we go. Um, that's really good and really strong. Somebody's been making cobblestone, apparently. <laughs> So this is this is what I got. I got also for my melee weapon. I got this battle axe. It is made out of thomium, mandolin, paper, and cactus. The resulting damage is 15.5 hearts. So I just it is good. It is not the very best, but it's good. And also got the RF thingy on it, and it got this really cool effect. If you hold it, right click, you're gonna charge it and then do this leap forward and get strength and jump boost as well as speed and hunger, which, you know, whatever, I don't care. But it's strength, you know, free strength, so I'll take it. Then this starts dealing, I think it's a full heart, more damage, 16 hearts, 16 and a half, I mean, not really sure. But uh, yeah, that's what. That's what I got. Well, uh, we haven't really built anything around, you know, just this very middle here, and that's all. So, I hope you've enjoyed this little tour, I guess. And uh, just drop some stuff in the Amy system. I don't need this shit. There we go. Tear and block, yeah, whatever. So, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great time. Uh, until next time, until next video. Bye.